So, if you join me on Narrowboat Plum Porter, where in the previous video the gearbox oil was found to be emulsified, which led to the boat not going into reverse gear. So, in this scene, we're going to be uh, changing the gearbox oil. Right, so I'm just going to start draining the gearbox oil using a 15mm spanner. I've already got a jug underneath it just to uh, catch said oil. Gearbox oil is now draining. So that's our drain. That's our drain bung removed. I don't know if you can see just quite how emulsified the oil is. Um, it's not that auto focus. So yeah, the uh, oil is a bit emulsified, so it's just worth changing it out. So, uh, so the oil is now currently draining from our gearbox. I don't know if you can see that but the uh, the jug is underneath and is uh, draining the oil out all right okay so I've just drained the uh, gearbox oil and uh, you can clearly see that it is uh, a little bit emulsified and there are some sediments in there as well so it is definitely needed to be changed because automatic transmission fluid normally is a translucent red color so I've put the drain bung back in, nipped it up, and uh, we are now going to be putting the new oil in the gearbox. Right, okay, so uh, I've just took the filler bung off, and uh, because our funnels will not fit, we have managed to uh, fabricate a rather temporary solution, whereby we use a brand new nozzle off a chalking gun to actually go into our, our filling bung. So I'm just going to start filling this up with... ATF. So it's a fresh bottle, so I'm just going to be taking the cap off. Extending the actual nozzle on the ATF fluid, and then it means that we can start filling the gearbox oil back up. Nah. I've not brought my grips with me, so it's going to be a bit awkward, but I think for what we are, I think it should be alright. So I'm just going to start filling up the uh, ATF, pulling it by the side. Sorry about this, less air bubbles. You can clearly see the difference between the old oil and the new oil. So, because this is translucent red, which is a uh, a massive difference over to our uh, untranslucent brown. Don't know if you can see that or not, but that's uh, the difference between the two oils. So that's our old, well that's our new gearbox oil, sorry, and then that's our old one. So hopefully that should show you the contrast in the, uh, the gearbox oil. So hopefully this should be the final amount of gearbox oil. I'll put a little bit more in than necessary just because obviously after the boat runs up we're just going to be checking if the uh, level goes down. So I always put a little bit more in just so that the oil can circulate and stuff. So there we go, uh, I've just topped the gearbox oil up and uh, it is, as I intended, just a little bit more than the uh, maximum level, obviously because when the uh, gearbox is running, it's all the new oil is 
is going to circulate around all the crevices and things like that. So the engine's just going to be running with the gearbox in motion. So we're just going to be doing that just to circulate all our gearbox oil around and then we're going to be topping up the gearbox as necessary. And it's just only just engaging into reverse. So we'll, there you go. Reverse is now engaging onto the gearbox. So here's just a quick update on our gearbox oil situation. So we've let the engine run for a little bit. It was only just engaging into reverse, um, which was quite a marginal improvement. And also as well, we just drained the oil out and there's uh, still residual crud and uh, nastiness in there. So the gearbox oil is going to be refilled again after the flush and then failing that the uh, gearbox might have to be removed in the advent of bearing damage.